Hello everyone, it is Shadows Woman. I'm here to present to you guys some Dota 2 action. This time we have Radiant vs. Dire. Haha, <laughs> very funny. But no, uh, we got, you know, a Captain's Mode game. I'm thinking this is ranked. But, uh, anyway, as we can see here, the first band from the Radiant is going to be Invoker. The first band for Dire is going to be Fan or Templar Assassin. Second band for Radiant is going to be Pudge. And uh, let's see what that second band is going to be for the Dire. It's going to be that Puck. And the first pick for Radiant. Let us see. Let us see. By the way, guys, happy 4th of July. For those of you living in the U.S. For those of you who don't know what 4th of July is for us in the U.S. It's a national holiday where we all get drunk. Because, you know, it's the day we quote-unquote declared our independence from, you know... Britain so yeah again it, it's just another national holiday for you know us fat lazy Americans to get drunk and it gives us another reason to drink that that's all and to blow shit up with fireworks that's also another good reason but uh yeah the first pick for Radiant is going to be Darkseer with the first pick for Dire going to be Magnus Let's see what the f second pick for Dyer is going to be. It's going to be Lena. Hmm. Who's going to be the second pick for Radiant? I wonder. I wonder. And it's the Priest of the Moon. Pretty standard picks and bands all around so far. What's going to be that third band? It, let, let's actually just skip all of this. Because it, it's a little dull. Let's, let's not care ourselves. Banning phase isn't that, you know, it's not that amazing. We see a Sven ban, we see a Luna ban, an Ember Spirit ban, and a Warlock ban. You know, we're not fully skipping this, but we're, you know, fast forwarding through it. That's, that's the biggest part. A uh, Tidehunter pickup for the Dire. Let's see the Radiant pickup. They pick up Treant. You know, big wombo combos coming out right now for both teams. Radiant Spectre pickup for the Dire. dire a Rubik pickup for the Radiant. And who's the last band gonna be? Who's the last band gonna be? Who's the last band gonna be for the Dire? And it's going to be Death Prophet. Last band for the Dire, or for the Radiant rather, is a Disruptor. Last pick for the Dire is going to be. Huh, who will it be? We've got lots of champions. Elder Titan to be picked up. Okay, pretty good, pretty good. Pretty good. And who's that last pickup going to be for the Radiant? I actually have no clue. What's actually funny is, guys, I cast another game? And the file got corrupt. Don't worry, it was actually a League of Legends game that was pretty shitty to begin with. And it looks like that last band or last pickup was the uh, Life Stealer pickup. I love how I have it set to free camera, but it's talking as it's as if it's you know directed. We could actually go ahead and slow this down. That's a point five, but there we go. Normal speed. Normal speed. And Elder Titan right here. Probably going to be warding right about over here-ish. I would say no, he goes and wards over here. And surprisingly enough, he does not see the Rubik and the Treant. And what will be the first rune? And it's Haste and Treant's going to go pick it up, it looks like, for the Radiant. Nice compendium levels all around. And Treant just, yeah, hovering over it. And again, look at the base damage from Treant. Treant just does a ton of damage. He already took like 300 health off of that Tidehunter. With like three hits. That's absurd. So look like it's going to be Lifestealer, Rubik, and Treant bottom. Versus Outer Titan. So try bottom versus. You know, one. And that's going to be a pretty messed up Elder Titan. Looks like he'll be able to get away. 
you know, not not life threatening damage done by anyone. But uh, yeah, we got Darkseer top versus Lena versus Spectre, and it looks like Tidehunter made his way all the way up top. Hmm. Yeah, it looks like that's gonna be a dead Darkseer because he has got no surge, and that's a good light trick array. I got no idea why he wanted to vacuum, but yeah, that is a dead Darkseer. And it looks like Darkseer is going to be going ahead and getting that uh, soul ring first. <sighs> so anyway guys, while the game is just getting underway, I went to go see the new Transformers movie. And on the big screen, there was a giant fucking palm meadow. A.K.A. Uh, what's the other word for it? It's a palm... It's a uh, cockroach. A palmetto is just a Floridian cockroach. There's a giant cockroach on the screen. Right in the damn middle of the screen. Yeah. I walked out of that bitch and got my money back. Otherwise it was a half ass decent movie. That Michael Bay still fucked up. Because explosions. Meantime Magnus picks up the double damage rune. There's that soul ring for our dis or I was about to say disruptor for our Darkseer friend up at top. Darkseer now can pretty much almost ion shell whenever the hell he pleases, and nobody can give a cr or nobody can say anything bad about it, except for you know the Dire. But even then, that's still stupid damage that Spectre was just taking, and that Lena took. Darkseer wants to mess someone up here, but he really can't. He honestly really cannot. Meantime, Mirana, you know, going and just taking silly damage from uh, Magnus as well. Magnus with shared tangos. Not, you know, not his. They're just shared to him. And lol, that skewer. And lol, that it shockwave. But even lol to that sacred arrow by Mirana that failed. And she should be able to deal, you know, a certain amount of damage to him. Or, you know, good amount of damage, rather. Life Stealer gonna, you know, be a big nuisance here. If the Radiant, or if the Dire don't figure out a way to shut him down quickly, he is going to be the biggest pain in the ass they will have to deal with. I can tell you from first-hand experience, he is just a pain in the ass to deal with. But he's fun as hell to play. Meantime, Darkseer gets the kill up on Spectre at the top. And he gets away from the Lena. I mean, it's nothing too exciting. Nothing to, uh, you know... Nothing to call back home about. We'll set it to direct the camera for now because I'm lazy and slightly talk, you know... Slightly drunk. Well, slightly tipsy. So I just want to... Lean back, relax, watch some Dota 2, cast some Dota 2, and have some fun. Oh, that that Darkseer is going to get himself killed. You know, we can tell that he's going to get himself killed because he's trying to man mode up on that Tidehunter. And he just barely has enough mana for Surge. I got a feeling he's going to wind up feeding Lena. And I got a feeling that... That, uh, that, that Rubik just did the greatest lift ever, and that's a dead out of Titan to Treant. And, uh, lol. Wrong way to leap by Mirana. And a dead Mirana, because leap direction was bad to begin with. Mistakes were made. We don't need to say which mistakes, but mistakes. Obvious stupid mistakes. And that may be a dead Darkseer here. Magnus goes and picks up his arcane boots. And no, Darkseer lives for now. Also, that tree ain't gonna be a big ass nuisance. Because of that living armor it does affect towers. And uh Yeah. Rubik ate uh, shockwave to the face. 
Tide Hunter, just kind of, you know, kind of roaming, kind of jungling, kind of doing nothing. What Spectre got right now? Quelling Blade, two Iron Branches, and a shared Tango. Oddly enough, her, well, she has less gold than Ajax, and that Darkseer is going to survive, it looks like. Barely, however. You know, if he didn't have that mana for the Surge, he would have been dead. And, hmm. Oh. Oh, double damage on Tumorana. Double damage on Marana. Or for Marana, rather. Let's see. He might be getting or trying to get a range for a shockwave. No, he's not. He knew that that was, you know, it wasn't going to happen. Marana has got leap back up again in about five seconds. And she goes ahead and pops double damage and gets one charge of the uh, bottle off to get some health regen. And let's see, does he try to go for it? He might be waiting for his arcane boots to come back off the cooldown. And... Wait, doesn't he have arcane boots? I swore he had arcane boots. He does, okay. So he was using his bottle. I don't... I don't get that. There's a skewer, and... That was a good leap away. Right there. And that's going to be a dead Marana. Yep, dead. Marana is dead. Ah, blue feeding mid. And that's going to be a dead Spectre. Sadly, Rubik nor Darkseer got the kill into Spectre. But it looks like Spectre might be trying to rush a Radiant. I mean, we're you know, about 8 minutes into the game. She's yet to buy anything still. Except for, you know, Scroll of Town Portal. So yeah, Radiant Rush is highly likely here from the Spectre. We'll have to see if it works out for her though. Meantime, this Life Sealer might be working on Armalit. That's pretty standard for him. Treant looks like he might be trying to go for Arcane Boots. You know, that's again standard item. Rubik, no idea just yet. Darkseer, I don't know. He may want to get a... Uh, you may want to get an Aghanim Scepter that will help him. He right now gets Arcane Boots and that Magnus now has Illusion. And he's not even using his Illusions to do anything. He just picked it up to pick it up. I guess that way uh, Lina couldn't, or Marana couldn't pick it up. In the meantime, Lina gets the kill on, or Lina dies to uh, Darkseer and Rubik. And Wall fail Skewer right there. And that's going to be a dead Magnus. I think. Yep, dead Magnus. That Marana's arrow just wrecked him. Stopped him right in his tracks. And uh, that Ion Shell is certainly paying off now. Yeah, it costs a lot of mana, but it does a lot of damage. 90 damage over time? Yeah, that hurts. And uh, let's see Tide right now. He's really got nothing. Elder Titan right now. Kinda got nothing. Lena right now might be building towards arcane boots, or it might be getting, you know, early stages of an. Oh no, that wouldn't be for Nagnums. That'd have to be for arcane boots. And Spectre, still nothing. Still nothing on that Spectre. Marana, I, she's got phase boots, and that was just pretty bad miss right there by Marana with that sacred arrow. And lol. That's going. Yeah, that. That Lena certainly wanted that. And Laguna Blade being stolen right there by Rubik. Let's see, maybe if he can put that to use. Answer? Looks like it's gonna be no. Meantime, this Tidehunter is running for his life right here, and oh my god, that Rubik is gonna die. He doesn't even get a chance to use that ultimate he stole. Spectre dies to. Respect got the kill to Rubik, Marana got the kill to Tidehunter. And Marana picks up the uh, regen rune for her troubles, too. Marana might be working on a Maelstrom. That'd be my guess. Lifestealer, like I said, got that armlet. And damn, that arrow just hurt her. 
That arrow oh, maximum damage well. or damage is 140. And that's only level two arrow. Gotta remember that. There's the arcane boots for Lena. And lol. Yeah, arcane boots on Magnus with the uh, bottle. That's a lot of weights he's got to get mana back. Let's see, life stealer. He's falling away. Life stealer's got the high CS, and he's just about more. He's actually more than double, or close to more than double, of uh, Magnus's CS. If he were double, then he'd be at seventy-five, or seventy-four, not sixty-five. So yeah, he's close to double of Magnus's CS, and they're respectively, you know, top CS of both their teams. And that's going to be a dead Lena from Rubik picking up that Dragon Slave and dead Rubik by that Spectre with Haunt. Spectre now still 12 minutes into the game, not a single item except for Quelling Blade and two Iron Branches. I mean, she is 2 3, but still. Phase Boots now for Nyax, aka Life Stealer, who has been working his way onto that uh, bottom tower. Let's see, Lena, Arcane Boots, and that's really it. Tidehunter, Boots, and that's really it. And uh, that's going to be a dead... Uh, yeah, looks like a... First of all, dead Marana, that Laguna Blade certainly hurt. But Marana did get the count to Spectre first. Yeah, Spectre trying to rush for Radiance, but it, it's past that point where you're going to get that Radiance. You know, the recipe is the cheapest part. Raven's going to need a Sacred Relic. Yeah, that... She's a good ways away from that, about uh, 2,500 away from it. I think it's still... Yeah, I think it's still 3,800 for it. Let's take a look real quick. Uh, yeah, it's still 3,800, so she's a ways away from it. Let's put this back onto directed camera. Let's see, Treant, really nothing so far. Rubik, really nothing. Dark's here working on his Aghanims, it looks like. Marana, I would have to say again, a Maelstrom. That's the most likely one. And uh, KDA, 3-3 three, three for Marana, 2-1 for Magnus, 2-2 two, two for Lina, and 2-2 two, two for Darks here. And 2-4 for uh, Spectre. Looking at that net worth, though, it's all Lifestealer, guys. It is all gun ho for Life Sealer. There's no one opposing him. And that's bad. Remember this, guys? You never, ever let a Life Sealer free farm. That's like letting a Drow or an Anti Mage free farm. It's, it's just bad. You never do it. Ever. The fact that they're allowing it to happen, that's just making it 10 times worse for him. Because he's at, you know, 89 CS, whereas the top for the Dire is at 48. But Magnus now no, uh, has double damage, and he's heading top to maybe try and get the kill onto Marana. But, uh, yeah, it looks like Darkseer is going to go ahead and back out. I mean, we're good, like, third of the way through this game. Or through this replay that, uh, a good chunk of that was, you know, the champion pick and ban. But, uh... Yeah, Life Sealer being close to double the top CS on the Dire, that's pretty pathetic. And again, about 15 minutes since the game, Spectre, who's supposed to be the hard carry for the Dire, still no items whatsoever. That's just insane. But what's also insane is Life Sealer went and let that tower be in deny range and not kill it. That was a bad move on Life Sealer's part. <sighs> Again, nothing really to say at this point. I'm just speechless that he let that tower get denied. Other than that, again, trying to, uh, trying to just visualize why that Treant was out of position. And that's going to be a dead of Le uh, Marana as well. Lena goes and picks up the kill on both of them. She Laguna bladed Treant to get the kill. And it looks like she went ahead and just used, you know, Dragon Slave and Light Strike 
to go ahead and help her fiery soul allow her to get the kill. And uh, yeah, Darkseer, he should, keyword should be having his uh, he should be having his Aghanims relatively soon here. He's got two big pieces. He needs another 2200 gold for that to happen. And again, that should be relatively soon for a Darkseer, considering he can Ion Shell the shit out of his, you know, his creeps, get the gold push. But what's going to be the bane of the Dire right now, it's going to be that Treant and that Lifestealer. Lifestealer now looks like he might be working on a Basher, because you don't usually get a Javelin unless you're going for a Basher. I think that's like the only item Javelin builds into. In fact, be able to see if I uh, if I type in Jav, we could actually see. No, I'm sorry, Monkey King Bar and a Basher. But I doubt he's going for Monkey King Bar just because. And that is a good pickup right there by Rubik, but doesn't matter. Titan gets the kill onto Treant. And looks like, uh, yeah, that's going to be a dead Magnus. Darkseer gets the kill onto Magnus. Lifestyle so is going to try and get the kill onto Lina here. Darkseer gets the kill onto Elder Titan and to uh, Tide. Marana picks up the kill onto Lina. So that was a 4 for t uh, four for 1 trade off with Rubik almost dying there as well. And he did pick up, looks like, a Skewer. So he could use that to just get further into his base. You know, not where, you know, get away from a team fight or into the team fight. But, uh, yeah. That, that mid tower is certainly going to die. I would not doubt that that's going to die. And there's that uh, Basher I was talking about for Lifestealer. If I call Lifestealer Nyax, just uh, just know that he was called Nyax in Dota for years. So, yeah. that That's why. Elder Titan was called something else. Marana picks up the invisibility. And Lena now has warded up the wazoo for, you know, both Observer and Sentry. And that's going to be a dead Treant. And yeah, that was a ult used by Lena right there. So now she doesn't really have it. In the meantime, who is that up at top? Is that... that's purple. So that's got to be Rubik, I would have to assume. We know that Lena or Marana went ahead and used that uh, invisibility rune. And I, I just want to check in on that Spectre again. The Spectre is still trying to quote unquote rush. You can't see, but I'm using air quotations here. Rush for that radiance. That's like way too late now. It's about, you know, it's going to be 20 minutes into the game. She has yet to get anything other than the recipe. That is not good at all. And she's being pushed back here by that Rubik. Yeah, no idea. And there's that Aghanim Scepter for the Darkseer. Darkseer now at 5-2-2. Lina at 5-3-3. Marana at 4-4-1. And Magnus at 2-2-4. With Spectre being at 2-4-3. Lifestealer really hasn't contributed any kills or deaths, respectively, but he does have three assists, so that's good for him. And Lifestealer now, again, just... Lifestealer's free farming! He's free farming! No one is stopping the Nyax! Like I said, guys, you've got to stop the Nyax. You have to. He now has his armlet. He has a basher. I wouldn't be surprised if he's working towards a Sage and Yasha at this point, or working towards... I want to say maybe a Scotty? Say no Orb of Venom only builds into a Scotty. That's the only thing it builds into. Top tower is under and this Spectre is dying Dyer's to jungle camps. That's pathetic. Shadow. And looks like Marana... Yeah, they're going to try and maybe get this Magnus. And uh, yeah, Magnus has Blink, so he's fine. But that is a good kill right there by Radiant onto that tower. Rubik now has his dagger. So that's pretty good. 
and Marana has haste activated for no reason. I guess other than to, you know, run away from that Lena. But, uh, yeah, let's... Let's see what the Dyer sees for a second. We'll go ahead and pause this. So, this is the vision of the Dyer right now. They have, you know, Elder Titans right there. He's been there for, like, the past two minutes. I guess he's AFK or something. You know, this is all that the Dyer sees. What does the Radiant see? Uh, we'll actually have to, you know, unpause and pause. And this is what the Radiant sees. They know Elder Titan is there. Or no, we know Elder Titan is there. This is all that the Radiant sees. I just want you guys to see that. You know, want you guys to see the, uh... You know, want you guys to see what the team see. And Rubik picks up the count of Lena. Did he steal anything from her? He stole her Laguna Blade. And here comes Smoke of Deceit from Lena, oh, trying to get her teammates some more kills now. Oh, that's going to be... I mean, it, it's so pathetic. I still can't believe that, you know, Spectre, now 20... Just about 22 minutes into the game, is now finally, finally getting her Radiance. Again, 22 minutes into the game, getting your Radiance. That is very, very, very slow if you're trying to rush it. Uh, yeah, that that's just gonna drink you know drag her team down. Net worth right now we got Nyx at about 10k, followed by the 8.2k of Darkseer, and then trailing far 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 behind is that Magnus at 6.1. I'm surprised she went ahead and bought that Stout Shield, and didn't try and save for boots. But here come the wards you know, ward action from Tidehunter and Lena. They've got lots of wars, respectively. And, uh, yeah. We'll have to see how this goes. Again, just Ward City from the Dire right now. By both Tide and Lena. Meantime, Nyax now over 10k on his net worth. There's that Yasha. He's probably working towards that Sange now. And... He goes ahead and gets that top tower. The uh, Ogre Club should be coming out here pretty soon for Nyax for that Sange. And uh, yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if Nyax later turned that Basher into an Abyssal, step or Abyssal Bleed. There's that Ogre Club and the Belt of Giant Strength. Or Belt of Strength. Let's see, Treant right now has nothing. Again, I'm expecting maybe Arcane Boots or Blink. You know, since he's waiting so long and he's playing support, a Blink would be a good item. He's probably, yeah, there's level 1 Necromonicon for Darkseer. Rubik right now really doesn't have much, but again, he was kind of support as well. So it, you know, this is all, you know, speculation on my part. But there's a good ult right there by that Treant. And Magnus gets going to Darkseer here. But, uh, yeah. That's going to be a fail arrow by Marana. But that Elder Titan's gonna go ahead and die here and does die life stealing now. He's gonna try and get away. He's not gonna be able to. He gets ulted by both Lena and by that Tidehunter. But Spectre finally picks up a kill and is, you know, worth something, you know, 24 and a half minutes into the game. Now Magnus has invisibility. Ooh. There's the arcane boots on Tidehunter, very standard. A little late for it though, but still standard. You know, Spectre now has a thousand gold. What is she going to use it on? Marana trying to, uh, stun someone, it looks like. And, uh, yeah, not gonna work out, it looks like. Marana might be working on, instead of Molnir, might be going for a, um, Manta style. Manta style would certainly help her as well. Rubik, no idea what he's working on. Might be a Force Staff? Or it might be Aghanim Scepter? Treant, again, no idea. There's a Hood of Defiance for Elder Titan, which, 
You're like, yeah, that'll certainly help, but at the same time, when your first is a life stealer, it doesn't matter. His feast is. I think they classify his feast as pure damage. So, yeah. But that'll help for, like, you know, the Treant Ults, the Marana Arrow, the Fade Bolts, the Ion Shell, etc., etc. You know, and, uh, yeah. Looks like now we're gonna be having a refresher coming out here for Magnus. There's boots now for Spectre. Again, I'm gonna keep on going back to this. Spectre, you got her, you know, radiance, what, 22 minutes into the game? 23 minutes? Again, that's wicked late. No, I mean, like, wicked late. There's the Saint Yasha right there for Nyax. And again, I wouldn't be surprised if he started turning that into an a, uh, Eye of Scotty. Or turned that into a Abyssal Blade first. Or he might be going for something completely different. Sell that Stout Shield. And maybe pick up something else. And lol. And that's going to be a dead Marana. There we go. Luna, or Luna ult. Nice Tidehunter ult right there. Tide gets the count to Darkseer, and Lena got the count to uh, Marana. Life Shield gets the count to Tidehunter. Life Shield also gets the kill into Spectre. Gets the kill into Elder Titan as well. And Magnus picks up the kill into Treant and Rubik. Lena gets the kill into Life Stealer. That was a 5 for 2 trade. That's what the Dire needed right there to get back into this game. And uh, yeah, that Fiery Soul right there from Lena. That's 210 extra attack speed. That's a lot. Whew! Now Magnus probably going to port top. Yep, there he goes. And yeah, let's just take a look at the KDA now. 747 Lena, 526 Magnus, 546 Darkseer, 423 Lifestealer, 454 Marana, 358 Spectre, 237 uh, Rubik. 236 Tide Hunter, 144 Elder Titan, and 143 of uh, Treant. And Lifestealer now still pulling way ahead of everybody on the Dire. He's at 155 CS versus you know the 109, who's you know that's Magnus and he's top for the Dire. And there's that refresher for Magnus I was talking about. Funny thing is he just barely has enough mana to make that work. Yo, his ultimate's 300 mana, refresher's 375. Actually, yeah, he just barely has enough. So what he can do is blink in, ult, refresh, bottle real quick, and then ult again for the other 300. But at that point, he's drained the mana and can't do anything else. So who knows? Who the bloody hell knows? It looks like that might be a dead specter. No, Spectre lives. She lives for now. And that Marana, however, she should try to get away. I mean, she can't really do much v Magnus. That is a dead Tide Hunter. There's no way that Tide's getting away. Yeah, Auto Titan gets the kill on to uh, Treant. Tide buys back. Marana gets the kill on Magnus, and we'll get the kill here on Elder Titan. There we go. In the meantime, Lena gets the kill to Rubik here, and it looks like that's going to be Marana getting the kill on to Spectre, and dead Lena right there, Life Shield gets the kill to Lena. So that was essentially 5 for 2 trade, also forcing a buyback. Yeah. That's... That's pretty bad. When you force the Tide to buy back, because he's the only one who can. Ah, oh, that... Uh, yeah, let, let, let's check the uh, graphs real quick, shall we? Yeah, experience, largely... It, there was a 7,500 gap for the Radiant at about the 2233 mark. Now there's about 5,000 again, and we're at, what, 30 minutes? Gold, 
There was over a 10,000 gap for the Radiant versus the Dire. Now there's, you know, over 8,000, close to 9,000 gap. Again, largely in favor of the Radiant. You want to know why? Lifestealer. What's his net worth right now? 15k versus the measly 9.8 of Magnus. That said... Oh, I, I, I'm losing hope for the Dire rapidly. You know, it looks like Lifestealer is going to go ahead and pick up that Scotty relatively soon here. I would think, at least. I would think. And there's level 3 Necromonicon for our Darkseer. <sighs> Let's see. Elder Titan now picks up the Pipe of Insight. Again, that'll help. That'll help a lot versus, you know, ult from Treant, but... It's not going to help versus that life stealer who's just going to do a ton of auto attack damage and, you know, kill everybody thanks to Feast and Armalit. Let's see, there's that four step I was talking about for Rubik. Me, you know, again, I kind of mentioned it 10 plus minutes ago and lol skewed away from the fight. Funny Magnus is funny. And good error right there by Marana for 345 damage. What's the cap on it? 320? Yeah. In the meantime, yeah, that's a good pickup right there by Spectre. Who will have a Yasha pretty soon. But, you know, so far she hasn't been in many team fights. So, who knows. In the meantime, good ult right there by Tithe. Good ult right there by Magnus. Magnus picking up or allowing his teammates to pick up kills, Magnus gets count to uh, Marana, Lena gets count to Darkseer, Elder Titan picks up Treant, Rubik gets count to Tidehunter, Spender, Spectre gets count to Life Sealer, Magnus picks up the kill into Rubik. So five for one trade in favor of the Dire. That just blew my hopes back up for him. You know, Treant right now has no items. But he was playing support all this time. And, you know, Spectre right now kind of carrying the team. Well, Spectre and Lena. You can't deny Lena, but I think the... I think the, uh... The unmentioned hero, or unsung hero? Tidehunter. Tidehunter's ult in the middle of that fight. Just beautiful. It was beautiful. Set that up perfectly for a Magnus ult. Or double Magnus ult at that. And looks like now, yeah, that uh, Spectre trying to go ahead and get more farm because she damn well needs it. And Magnus getting a couple of turret hits, not anything that'll kill her. And there's that Aghanim Scepter now for Lena. Lena now is trying to, you know, trying to get the kills for herself. I mean, she's 959. So you can't, you can't bash that. Looking at the KDA, 959, 739, 765, 635. And 5510, 4614. And that's, you know, the top, what, seven right there? Or six, rather? And lol, the vacuum gonna prevent Elder Titan from leaving, and Life Stealer picks up the kill pretty convincingly at that. And yeah, Life Stealer's about to get his Scotty. He just needs about, uh, what, 500 more gold? There's the uh, Manta style for Marana that I was talking about. And yeah, th this is shaping up to be a good game. But again, guys, remember this. They let Lifestealer farm for a good, you know, 10 minutes. His net worth is more than, you know, he's a lot. He's at 16k. The highest on the Dire is 12k on Magnus. And even on the rating, there's still one more head of Magnus, and that's Darkseer. You know, Darkseer's at about 13k now. And Spectre's right behind Magnus at about 11.6k. Uh, the lowest being uh, Treant at 2.7k. And Tide being at 3k. So yeah. The Radiant certainly 
as far as net worth goes, have that in the bag. Experience, it's still largely in favor, or gold, it's largely in favor of the Radiant by about 6,000. By experience, it did swing in favor of the Dire for just a little bit. And that was when they had that big team fight that, you know, wiped out the entire Radiant. But now it's swinging back into favor of the Radiant. And mind you, we're 50 kills into the game, 25 apiece. So that tells you something. Again, all that CS that Nyax had early game, it's paying off in spades now. There's that I've Scotty, and I don't know, maybe Nyax works on a... I want to say he'll be getting uh, an Assault Kuros. And Manta Style right there for Spectre. Good items. Ooh, sorry guys. Long day for me. Very long. Magnus, now what's he getting? He's got a Ghost Scepter. Maybe? Let's see. What does Ghost Scepter build into? If I'm not missing anything. Ghost Scepter. What does that build into? It only builds into an Ethereal Blade. I think it just has Ghost Scepter so that way you can go ahead and you know, not die due to, you know, Life Stealer. But that leaves him vulnerable to, you know, Dark Seer's Ion Shell, the Fade Bolt of Rubik, and Ult from Treant, as well as Treant's Leech Seed. Because, you know, while he's in there, he takes more damage. Yeah, increased magical damage by 40%. That's a lot. You know, especially when you don't have anything but your base magic resist of 25%. That's not so. Meantime... Oh. I was about to say, why did Elder Titan go ahead and Echo Stomp there? Oh, he was using it for his spirit more than anything else. Yeah... Again, I'm I'm gonna say Nyx is gonna be the unsung hero for the Radiant here. And he's gonna carry them to victory. Drum of Endurance here being picked up by Lena. Very standard, very good at that too. That'll help with, you know, giving her allies attack and movement speed. Let's see, passive. Give attack and movement speed to surrounding units. Active grant plus ten attack and ten percent movement speed to surrounding allies. Huh. Oh, I see. So it's doubling the attack speed and... Uh, yeah, it's doubling the attack speed and movement speed when it's active versus the passive. I never really understood, you know, what that meant until I just kind of read the auras. Yeah, now I understand completely. And this treant is being very, very, very ballsy here. And nice blink right there by that Treant. And Life Sealer going gun ho for that Lena and picks up the kill into Lena. Picks up the kill on Lena with no problem. And Rubik picked up the kill or picked up the ult from Tidehunter. Tidehunter gets the kill to Morana. Darkseer gets the kill to Tidehunter. Life Sealer gets the kill on both Magnus and onto Elder Titan. And that was a 5 for 1 trade for the Radiant. That just largely swung the game back into their favor. And I mean, largely. You know, experience? Yeah. It's going back in the Radiant by a wide margin. And the gold! Holy cow! Gold two times was over 10,000 in favor of the di or the Radiant. It, it dropped to 6k, but now it's climbing back up to 8k. You know, the only one up to prevent this from dying is Spectre. And what's she gonna do? She, she's got like nothing still. You know, yeah, that burn from Radiance kind of hurts, but it doesn't matter when the Radiance are about to have, you know, mega or super creeps in the middle. You know, that life seal again, being the unsung hero for the Radiance here. You know, life seal now 10-3-5, 9-3-6 Lena, 7-4-10 Magnus, 7-7-7 Marana, lucky numbers there. 6513 for Darkseer, 4615 for Spectre, 3511 for Rubik, 369 for Tidehunter, <laughs> all multiples of three. Uh, Elder Titan's at 379, and Treant is at 163. 
Again, though, Treant is more there for, you know, support than anything else. Uh, yeah. Nyax has 223 CS. Uh, that Spectre has 190. Darkseer, it's 178. Moran at 132. The Magnus at 123. So in the top, what, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5? Out of the top 5, the Radiants have 3 in there for CS. And the Dire only have 2. Yeah. As far as KDA, it's 1, 2, 3 in the top 5 for the Radiant. And 2 for the Dire, with that being Lena and Magnus. And net worth, now that uh, Lifestealer is at 21,000 net worth. I wouldn't be surprised to see Hyperstone come out of Nyax here in the next, you know, I'm going to say 2 to 3 minutes. And work on an Assault Kiros. Or be getting the uh, Sacred Relic for his Abyssal Blade. Because, yeah. That would be amazing! Elder Titan now, 41 and a half minutes into the game, gets his boots. He got his Sange before he got his boots. That's all sorts of messed up. Let's see, does Rubik still have Tide's ult? Yes, he does. And lol, he just used it to great effect. Marana picks up the kill to Tide Hunter. Magnus now is going to be dead here in about 3 seconds. And dead right there to Darkseer. Spectre gets the count to Treant. And yeah. That's going to be a dead Elder Titan. Life Sealer picks up the count to Elder Titan. All I'm gonna say is that was a very beautiful right there by Rubik. Blinking in then ravaging. Oh man. That was a game changer for the Radiant. And now Now there's nothing really except for Lena and Spectre. Preventing Radiant from taking these bottom barracks. And, uh, yeah. That's going to be a dead Lena. And Life Shield because picks up that kill as well. And picks up the kill onto the tower. Again, this is why you don't let Life Shielder free farm, guys. He will turn your base inside out and kill you quick. And he picks. Rubik picks up an Anchor Smash when he had Ravage. Don't know why, but either way, Life Shielder got the kill into Tide Hunter as well. And now his team has super creeps in both the middle and the bottom. Marana picks up a BKB. And, uh, yeah, looks like Life Stealer is going ahead and picking up. Oh, looks like he's picking up the. Uh, Assault Kiros. We'll see in about 6 7 seconds or so what he actually got. I'm saying it's an Assault Kiros just because you don't buy a Hyperstone without getting the Assault Kiros. Or getting a Molnir. And it's an Assault Kiros. Or a Kuros. 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 Potato, potato. Same crap, guys. And Darkseer now has Shiva's Guard. What else does Darkseer have? He's got his Aghanim Scepter. He's got Necromonicon and Shiva's Guard. Treant has... A gem of true sight. And it looks like Marana might be picking up the uh, Aegis. Yep, Marana picks up the Aegis. Let's see, Elder Titan has Pipe of Insight. He's got a Sange. Magnus has Ghost Scepter with Blink Dagger and Refresher. Tide has Blink Arcane Boots. Uh, Lena has. Aghanim Scepter, Boots, and Drum of Endurance. And Spectre has Radiance and Eagle Song and Manta Style. I would say that uh, Eagle Song might be built into a butterfly. That would be the only thing I could imagine she would get other than a Ghost Scepter. I want to say. Let's see. Or Ethereal Blade. I'm sorry. Ethereal Blade would probably be it. Yeah, either Ethereal Blade or Butterfly. Only two items you would ever get with the new little song. Only two items you actually can get. And that is a dead Tide Hunter. Or dead Elder Titan. And lol. Yeah, Life Shieler getting the kills on Elder Titan and on Magnus here. Dark Shieler getting the kill onto Spectre. Life Shieler getting the kill onto Lena. And Marana getting the kill onto Tide. 
That is definitely game. Like, there is no way around that. That is just game. You know, net worth 26k on that life stealer, 19k, about 20k now on Dark Seer, and about 16k on Spectre, and f about 16k or 15 and a half on to Marana, with a 12k on that Magnus, and there's that Abyssal Blade. 16 3 9 life stealer. That's nuts. 9 7 13 Marana, 9 8 10 Lena. 8, 5, 19, uh, Darkseer? Yeah. Since there aren't gonna be any more kills being done this game, you know, that Elder Titan may die, let's actually see. And Elder Titan does not die. Oddly enough, actually, Tidehunter dies to Treant. But, uh, yeah. Or no, Tidehunter killed Treant. But yeah, guys, that's gonna be it for the match. Let's go ahead and just you look at the charts real quick. Goal or experience difference, 20,000 in favor of the Radiant. Gold difference, 20,000 in favor of the Radiant. Let's see. Uh, oh, they actually took the uh, things away. So let's back this up uh, right there. Net worth, 26.6k in favor of, you know, Life Stealer. 19k in favor of Dark Seer. And like I said, 16k in favor of... You know, Spectre, who, let's see, Spectre, 5715 with 230, or 220, or 233 CS. Yeah, getting that Radiant that late certainly didn't help at all. She was just pushed out of lane so much and couldn't farm at all. So, once you're, once that happens, you give up on the Radiant and you work on something else, guys. That's my advice. If it's like 20 minutes into the game, you've still yet to get your Radiance. Stop trying to go for the Radiance because it's not going to help your team at all. Yeah, it'll look nice and it'll help you, but there are items you could have gotten that would have been better for you, like building towards that Manta style quicker. You know, instead of trying to get that Radiance early, get Manta style early, get a Yasha early. You know, get something else earlier instead of trying to rush the Radiance. And, uh, yeah, that, that's really it. I've got nothing else to say, guys. We saw Radiant win. If you guys liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If I missed anything, if you liked the video, if you want to say hateful things about me, leave a comment in the comment section down below. My name has been Shadowswalm. I will talk to you all next time.